in this video, <laughs> just kidding, but we are recording now. So if I look at this guy and I have the cube root of x to the 36, <laughs> this should be pretty easy if you remember the trick that we did with radicals and you've got the exponents. What do we get here? <coughs> I'll give you a hint. It's x to the 12th, right? Remember, the trick is that you divide the exponent by the index. So 36 divided by 3 is 12. You agree? Yes. Can I get points off if I kept the thing? Yes, you most definitely would lose points <laughs> and be wrong <laughs> if you leave the radical. <laughs> That's like, the, yeah, it does. Now watch your language since this is being recorded and it's going to go on my, now I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Don't, don't do it, do it, please. <laughs> if I say, what's the square What's the square root of 49? Kelly, seven. see, name seven. dropping. It's seven. Is it the square root of 7? No, it's 7. Because you use the square root yeah. to turn the 49 into a 7, right? It's not really 7. Yeah, well, it's not going to make me happy when I grade it either. I mean, I did way worse than I thought I did. <laughs> Maybe I'll find some compassion within me. If I have the square root of 121 over 36 x to the 10th, you had a problem very much like this in your test as well. What would you do? 11 over 6. The square root of 121 is 11. The square root of 36 is 6. But now that you've got exponents, you're going to cut it by the index. So that's going to be x to the 5th. Right? Remember, this is understood to have an index of 2. Not that we write that. But when it comes to dividing the exponents by the index, it's useful to write it there. Do you all agree? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, that's a nice problem. We'd love to have a quiz over that stuff, right? OK. <coughs> so far, so good? Yeah. Now, none of this stuff that we're doing here is new. Even if I were to do the fifth root of negative 32, x to the 35th, y to the 60th. All that under the radical. All of that is un inside the radical. When you do your radical symbol, make sure that you go as far as you need to go, all right? Because if you stop, like, over the x to the 35th, then it's kind of hard to see whether or not that y is supposed to be in there. Do not leave anything up to chance or to interpretation. Make sure that everything you write and say is clear. Now, what's the fifth root of negative 32? Or are you going to tell me it's impossible because it's a negative number? Since this is an odd index, we can have anything we want to inside here, even if it's a negative. The only time we have issues with a negative radicand is when that's inside of what kind of radical? Even. An even indexed radical. So what's the fifth root of negative 32? Negative 2. And what about the x? x to the 7th and y to the 8th. x to the 7th. And how did you get y to the 8th? Eight We've got 60 divided by 5, and we end up with 12, right? So the really only the the only difficult part here that we have is working with the coefficients inside here. What's the fifth root of negative thirty-two? Because then after that, it just becomes an exercise in division, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's do another one just because we want to make these problems happy and we want to feel good. If I have the tenth root of x to the six hundred twentieth, y to the seven hundred ninetieth power. X62, Y72. X62? Really? That's how we say that? Let's try that again. <laughs> Remember, this is all being recorded. What does that mean? Don't say stupid stuff? Or what is that for you? It means don't say things that um, you're watching me in bed. <laughs> X to the 62nd. X to the 62nd and Y to the 79th. 79th. So I guess I should sign off this video by saying, I hope you enjoy watching me in bed. Dylan is awesome. <laughs>